Hello, Asrianok. Nice to see you face to face, as it were. Uh, two confessions. First of all, I'm not an astrophysicist by a long, 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 long way. Um, I'm just an interested layman. Uh, and as a result, you needn't ever worry about me uh, explaining things in a complicated fashion because I can't. I only do simple. So that's probably for the best, really. Um, also, second confession, I no longer have the solar system simulation program. Um, I cannot remember the name of it. To me, it was just a, a moon-shaped icon in the corner of my desktop. I, on your behalf, I've, I've spent about an hour and a half looking for it, and I couldn't find it. All I can remember is that I got it from a freeware stroke shareware site, um, and it was very, very basic. Anything that says it's going to show an accurate depiction of the the planet's surface in a in a in a way that's pleasing to the eye, it's not that. This was just coloured dots. I, I think on looking for the same program, it appears that it was more of an orbit simulator than a uh, um, a solar system simulator. Although that's exactly what it did. It was purely the solar system, coloured dots. You could zoom in and out. Uh, you could tilt it, um, and of course you could create um, other bodies to interact with what was already there in the, the preset. Um, while I was looking, I can tell you that it is not a piece of software called Solar System 3D Simulator. It's definitely not that. I've downloaded that and it's, it's not up to the job. Um, it might be equivalent to something called First Light, which costs 1995 to register and you need to register it before you can uh, create your own solar system or amend the solar system that we've got. I'll keep looking for it. Um, if I find it, you can be sure I'll send you a message. No, I've not read Entanglement. Um, I don't think I've bought a book on quantum mechanics for about about five years. Uh, I realized I'd reached the limit of what this particular brain could absorb and the uh, the new insights were, were short were, were few and far between uh, the Large Hadron Collider in Europe is, is going to be opened uh, I believe in November this year so I might start reading again after that when there's some new stuff uh, I'd be very interested to know what entanglement uh, the book is like so maybe you could review that for me when uh, when you're feeling inclined um, oh, also that program didn't have uh, moons and galaxies. There were no moons of the solar system in the simulation and it, it didn't extend to galaxies. I think my computer would melt if it tried to do a calculation like that. Uh, so it was very basic, hence the reason I could operate it. Um, theory of everything time. Um, Surprisingly enough, my understanding of the theory of everything and the, the reason why it might be the truth didn't really come to me through uh, quantum mechanics. It came more through cosmology and th the history of science. Uh, I can trace it back to Michael Faraday, 18, late 1800s, something like that. Um, before Far well, before I get into that, if we discount dark energy and dark matter, which we don't know a great deal about, um, there are only four forces: uh, electromagnetism, gravity, the weak nuclear force, and the strong nuclear force. Everything that we see is explained by the interactions of those four forces. Now, in pre-Faraday days, um, there was a fifth force, or, uh, or rather electromagnetism was seen as two different things. Prior to Faraday it was obviously electricity and magnetism, but Faraday and perhaps more accurately James Clark Maxwell realized that electricity and magnetism were the same thing, two, the, two sides of the same coin. So 
they went from five force well they, they didn't know about the nuclear forces but what I'm trying to say is that things which appear to be separate forces have in the past it has become realized are one force the same thing subsequently happened with um, electromagnetism and the weak nuclear force there were mathematical models which united those and, and showed that some of the, um, the particles which exchange the force have a very close mathematical similarity. It may even be deeper than that. That, so we then had the electro-weak force so that the two forces that were excluded were gravity and the strong nuclear force now there are reasons to believe that they'll be able to unify the uh, strong nuclear force and gravity unfortunately is, is still still a way off but when you've, uni when you've united when you've united three out of four forces then obviously that the fourth force um, starts to look a likely candidate for incorporation another reason to believe that it's reasonable to expect a tow is because um, at the, the very high energies uh, shortly after the Big Bang and I do mean shortly all of the forces start to look similar they again I, it's right at the limit of my understanding but the, the particles which behave differently at the low energies that we have today start to behave very similarly at high energies when there was a lot of energy around um, so it's like roads really we have, we have four forces that seem very separate but as we run the clock back towards the Big Bang especially as you get very close to the Big Bang the four roads suddenly converge they all start to look similar I think they called it a phase transition when the the proposed single force split into the, the four ones that we know today I hope that's not too complicated um, have we about covered everything? I think we have uh, I ought to say that you philosophers scare the hell out of me. When I saw your uh, your logical demonstration of how you can prove the existence of God and then how you can disprove the existence of God using logic, that, that really has given me uh, a bit of an aversion towards the word logic now. Uh, I'm going to try and lean on the word rationality because I, I think you've demonstrated that logic is a is a two-edged sword and I suspect the handles not safe to hold either uh, love your stuff uh, I've watched I think I've watched everything that you've done too um, there are points of disagreement because I, I I'm, I'm two or three books into philosophy and I find that I'm reading a lot of stuff which isn't concrete enough for me. Uh, so unfortunately I, I miss out on a, on a lot of the, the subtleties there. Uh, and I, I tend to lean on the science. So I, I suspect at, at some point you'll be getting a message from me going, huh? So when that comes, please forgive me and uh, be very gentle. And I'll see you soon.